I wanted to show a few of the medications that we carry on the ambulances here in Alabama that EMTs are allowed to use. Naloxone is one that we give if we suspect an opioid overdose, so somebody has overdosed on some sort of a narcotic. When we're looking at these packages, you can, of course, see the, the name of it there, but you also want to look to see how much, and this is two milligrams per two milliliters. And then somewhere on this, usually on the open here side, you will have an expiration date. And this expiration date is 5 of 2018, so that is obviously expired, but for practice, we can go ahead and use this. So we would then see where it says open here, put your thumb in there, open it up, and then there's your medication. Um, so the way this, this comes is you have a, the medication in the glass vial, and then you have the uh, way to administer it. Now in Alabama, we have um, meter dose, not meter dose inhalers, we have mucoso atomizer devices that come with it. So the way this will work is you would unscrew that part, screw this part onto it, and then you can remove that, remove that, screw them together. Normally we would expel the air out of this, so if you can look, I don't know if you can see there's a little bit of air in there. Um, normally you would have to expel the air, but because we're giving this internasally, um, we don't have to worry about expelling the air. And I have another video on that. Another medication that we can give is an epinephrine auto injector, and this is an actual one that um, has expired. Um, opens there, slides out here, and it will have again the expiration date written on it. But something else you might want to do is look at this window and see if that has any uh, discoloration to it or if there's anything floating in it. And this one is actually a little brown, so it has expired. Um, we'll go over how to use this in lab, and I have another video that actually shows me using this on a cardboard box so you can see it getting ejected. This is aspirin, or baby aspirin. We normally carry this in large sheets, and we would tear off two to four of these. Our protocols say to tear off four of these, pop them out of this, and then have the patient uh, chew them up and swallow them. Again, there can't be any contraindications or anything. I have another video on how to actually administer the medication, but this is how the aspirin looks that we carry. And again, the baby aspirin, they're 81 milligrams a piece. There's a couple versions of nitroglycerin. Again, this is not something that we are going to carry on the ambulance per se, but it's something our patients uh, will have and we can assist them with it. Um, I have different videos on it, but this will be the tablets and they will take one tablet every three to five minutes as long as their blood pressure and heart rate stay good. And then we have the spray. And again, I have videos on how to administer these um, so you can look at those. A medication that we no longer carry in Alabama but might, might still be on national registry is one called activated charcoal. And it comes either as this, this kind of bottle where you cut the top off and uh, give it to them that way, or you can unscrew this and have them pour it into a cup and have them take it. Or it may come as a tube like this. We see this probably more in the emergency department where they might give it with some sort of an orogastric or nasogastric tube that goes right into their stomach. Not used as much as it used to be. And lastly, a meter dose inhaler. Um, this is uh, levobuterol. Oftentimes it's just gonna be albuterol. Uh, this is probably the most commonly one encountered one that we're going to see in the field where a patient may have one of these. Again, it's not something that we carry on the ambulance as EMTs, but it is something the patient may have and we can assist them with it. So just watch the other video on how to use one of these. If they don't have this, they may have an actual nebulizer, and this is the medication that's going to, going to go into the nebulizer. And this is a nebule, and you would just tear off the top here, squirt it into the nebulizer, hook it up for a, a couple of liters, probably about three, four, five, six liters per minute oxygen, and then it'll mist and let them let them breathe that in. Again, these are medications they're going to have at home, um, <clears throat> but we may, may encounter them. So these are all the different types of medications that we may run into on our ambulances. As EMTs, when you go into advanced and paramedic, there are many, many more, and you may be asked to assist with some of those, and you can find them, get them out of the drug box and all that, but remember, if they're not on the scope of practice list for the state of Alabama, our EMTs in Alabama are not allowed to administer them.